The question needs to be asked, why should I have to certify my works as being made by a human? Shouldn't those creating works with AI have to label their works? No, you shouldn't. And yes, they should. OpenAI, the human creators behind ChatGPT, defines its mission as creating safe AGI that benefits all of humanity. Benefits all humanity. Yet we have to wonder now if each song we hear, each painting we see, each novel we read is infused with the human spirit or something else. Certified Human Effort LLC believes it's self-evident that AI-created works, however novel, are at best an inferior copy and at worst a misrepresentation of human spirit that literature, art, and creative design seek to capture and impact. We seek to preserve the human spirit by certifying its products and endeavors. But that's a strange position in which to place ourselves, is it not? Shouldn't that be the default? Should it be beholden on artists, writers, designers, programmers, and musicians to need to certify their works as being AI free? Shouldn't it be the other way around? Shouldn't creators, the people entrusted with informing the human experience, be disclosing how AI enters their process rather than creators solely relying on authentic human means be certifying their work? OpenAI acknowledges the need to tell humans from AIs in its safety policies, saying, Automated systems including conversational AI and chatbots must disclose to users that they are interacting with an AI system, with the exception of chatbots that depict historical public figures. Products that simulate another person must either have that person's explicit consent or be clearly labeled as simulated or parody. Isn't it strange that conversational chatbots must disclose that they're not human, that they are not us, but AI may be used willy-nilly within the ideation, creation, and editing processes of works that inform our spirit? Their AI cannot lie to you that it's romantically interested in you, but it can be used to inform your soul without the slightest disclosure. There's a corollary here. Genetically modified organisms in food. Let's have ChatGPT summarize the current labeling requirements. The standard mandates the labeling of bioengineered foods consumed by humans. Bioengineered foods are defined as those with modified genetic material through lab techniques not possible through conventional breeding or found in nature. Starting in 2022, food makers, importers, and certain retailers us label such foods using approved methods including text to bioengineered food symbol or digital disclosure instructions. I don't know your position on genetically modified foods, and it isn't important for this argument, but government-mandated labeling allows you to choose whether you consume GMO foods. You have a choice. We want a choice in what creative expression we consume. Companies are making comparisons to word processing software and design software, but those are tools and that isn't what AI is framed as being. AI isn't a tool, it's so much more than that. I've worked with tools my whole life and I've never been asked to collaborate with my hammer or pen, yet ChatGPT frames us as being collaborators with it. Embrace collaboration, rather than perceiving AI as a threat threat. Humans can embrace collaboration with AI systems. AI can be a powerful tool that enhances creativity threat. Offering new possibilities, insights, and capabilities. Artists and creatives can work alongside AI systems, leveraging their computational abilities to augment their own artistic vision. Collaborate with a tool. The word smack of incongruity. Does the chef collaborate with the oven? Does the sculptor with their chisel? We don't know yet what these AIs are or will become. They hold great promise in many areas that may benefit all of humanity, but when it comes to works that inform our humanity, we do not need their partnership or permission. Threat. We've got this. We're authentic human creators. We will keep our humanity alive.